hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in the previous video i have shown you how to sync a movement of two players on uh, both screens so in this video i will show you how you can instantiate players at runtime so that you have see uh, uh, you can see that i have deleted both the players from my scene and i have created a folder called prefabs and drag and drop my both players there and delete them from your scene so we will instantiate them in the scene through script and also i have added an empty game object here called game manager on which i have a script called manager so actually this script will be responsible for instantiating players on screen so before adding the manager script we have to add two properties in our gpg manager as you can see that i have two public properties with return type string so actually this is the code that you need to put before the awake function so when you actually create a game on using google play services so it will assign some uh, properties some attributes to each user so one of them will be participant id so we need to access the id of both users so one is the one property is my id so this i this will actually get the current user who is playing uh, who is local player his id and the op oppo id or opponent id this property will get the other participant that is your opponent player his id so we need both our and the opponent id so i will show you why we need this but you have to put this code in your gpg manager so in this we are simply getting the reference of ourselves by using get self method and we are accessing the participant id from our object similarly in the opponent id we are looping through all the participants so in our case we will have two opponents ourselves and opponent so we will get all the connected participants by using get connected participant functions and we are checking if the participant id that is in p is not equal to our id so that it means that the id we are now accessing is our opponent id so uh, we need to uh, access these and now you need to create this empty object and attach a manager script on it so in the manager script we will get reference to both our players local player and opponent player that we have created prefab and then we need to get the reference of gpg manager to send and receive the player positions that is initial position on which we will spawn it and also so uh, this is not needed and also we need two spawn points so in the scene we need two spawn points on which we will instantiate our local player and our opponent player so these are two spawn points that we will create here later now in the start functions we first need to get the reference to our this gpg manager after that i have two functions the one is instantiate local player and the other is instantiate opponent player so in the instantiate local player we will instantiate our player but before that we need to actually decide on which 
point we need to instantiate our local player so as you know that the same code will run on both user devices at the same time so when this function will get called so both user will decide whether we need to spawn our player on spawn point one or spawn point two so we cannot give only one spawn point because then both the player will spawn at the same point so that's why we need two different spawn points so now the function will run on both users so we need a condition where uh, the condition is true on one player side and false on the other player side so let me explain what i mean so uh, before that we are accessing both players id that is our id and opponent id now we are comparing both ids so this is actually a comparison code so we are checking if our string id is less than opponent id then we need to instantiate our player at spawn point one so we have created a local vector 3 player spawn position and initialize it to zero vector 3 dot zero so now when this code will run on both user screen so if our id is less than the opponent id so this condition will true but on the other user end this condition will not true because his id is not less than our id so one of the player will instantiate its its player on spawn point one so if this is false it means that either this condition or this condition is true on other user ends so if the both ids are equal that is not the case because each and every player is unique so this will actually never execute so on the other user end this condition will get true so the other user will spawn in player on spawn point two so now we have decided the position of both players we will instantiate them by using instantiate function and player spawn position that we have decided here so after instantiating the player we need to send the position to other user why because we when you instantiate your local player you need to instantiate you need to tell other user to instantiate your player on his screen which will become opponent player on the other user screen so what we are doing here is simply uh, uh, send the position in string variable that is player spawn position x and player spawn position y so both the user will spawn their position on two different locations that is on spawn point one or spawn point two and send their locations to other user so now we are sending the location using network that is our gpg manager dot send message so in the header we are saying local player lp and uh, sending with our position so now the other user will receive position in on real time message received so here we are checking the header if the header is lp that means we are receiving the local position of other player so when first user will receive the local position of second user the first user will instantiate an opponent player that will mirror the first user so we are simply uh, getting the reference to our manager class that is this class and call instantiate opponent player by sending the position in argument so this is what we are 
doing here we are sending the position in raw one so at raw zero we will have a header and at raw one we will have the actual position that was sent to us so then this function will get called and uh, whatever the position we have received we will split the positions and we will uh, create two local variable x position and y position and we will create a vector 3 by initializing x and y position so uh, we don't need z position so that's why we have put it 0 in here and instantiate the opponent player so uh, in the next video we will execute this code and if any error occurred we will fix them in next video so uh, in the game manager now uh, don't forget to initialize the uh, variables here so we need to uh, put our local player into local player and opponent player reference to opponent player and we will have to create two empty objects or uh, two empty objects in the scene and initialize them to spawn point one and spawn point two that we will do in next video